Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball 6 box random team break number 1. Everyone gets a random team in the MLB, no vet common ship. So should be a lot of fun stuff in this Diamond Kings pretty friendly price point as well. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Five and a two, seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Mark down to Jake. After seven, five and a two, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got the A's down to the Rays. A lot of people thinking that maybe Frankie Montas of the A's is going to be traded to the Rays. Apparently, it seems to be a fit there. All right. So Mark with the A's. Patrick with the Pirates. Steven with the Twins. Charles with the Brew Crew. Rick with the Guardians. Ariano with the Padres. Patrick with the O's. Jake with the Red Sox. Josh with the Marlins. Justin with the Rays. Justin with the Jays, that is. Patrick with the Diamondbacks. Kevin with the Tigers. Aaron with the Rockies. Alan with the Astros. Eric with the Braves. Justin with the Mets. David with the Giants. Rick with the Rangers. Stephen K with the Yankees. Patrick with the Nats, Reds, and Phillies. Kevin with the White Sox. Sean with the Cubs. Andy, you got my Dodgers. Patrick with the Royals. Kevin with the Mariners. Jake with the Cardinals. Chet with the Angels. Jake with the Tampa Bay Rays. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Um, while everyone's trading, we're going to see which six boxes we're going to do. So let me make give myself a little more room here. Let's pop this master case open. Let's see which inner case we're going to do. I think it's half of an inner case. So now let's see which side we're going to do. Gilo, what's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's four. So we're going to do the right side here. So this will be for another time. And now let's pop this guy open. We got Angels up for trade, Toronto and Mets up for trade. Eric's looking for maybe a, a Braves Yankees deal. So there's six boxes right here and six boxes right there. So same deal, one, two, three for the left stack and four, five, six for the right six. Over here. And it's one, so it's gonna be the left side here and these we will also save for next time. All right, we're gonna pause the video again. When we come back, we're gonna see if the, anyone makes any deals and then we'll, uh, we'll run the break. Stick around again. And we'll be right back again. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was actually a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on Thursday, 12th. 
six box break of Diamond Kings baseball. Thanks everyone. So that list that you saw is now officially printed out. Now the break can officially happen. All right, so what do we got in here? Eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Looking for some blackout and new, what is that? Lysink? Fubel? Maybe there's some French speakers out here. Got some gray frames, some plum frames, two autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. So let's see what we can, we can get out of here. Good luck, everybody. All right, what do we got baseball-wise? Uh, I think the Astros and Twins finished up a game yesterday from the rain yesterday. So uh, they finished that game. Astros won that one 11-3. Then they played their regularly scheduled game for today. Astros beat the Twins again 5 nothing. So I thought the Twins started off a little hot, but now it seems to be cooling off a little bit. Orioles beat the Cardinals 3-2. In St. Louis, A's beat the Tigers 5-3. Seth Brown with a two-run homer. Mets beat the Nats 4-1. And games in progress. Yankees are in the south side of Chicago. They're leading the White Sox 5-3 in the top of the fourth. And in Texas... Rangers are uh, have a slim lead on the Royals, one to nothing. I think they got bases loaded in the bottom of the fourth. And then my uh, my Dodgers are back home, hosting the Phillies tonight. Thursday, so oftentimes a, a travel day for a lot of teams, so light baseball schedule today. All right, so no commons will ship, right? No commons shipping, but the rookie cards, of course, will ship, and Jake Berger will ship. 77 out of 99, mmm, burgers. I guess I'll need a lot of, let's get a few more out here. White Sox, that's going to be for Kevin and the Chicago White Sox. Oh, this Jake Berger should be playing today. Let's see. Let's check the box score really quick. What's Jake doing? No, Jake Berger not, not in the lineup today. And of course, these are inserts, these will ship. I always like the sort of canvas, the canvas look right there. There's your frames. That looks, that's a new design right there. I like that look of the frames. Speaker Maestros Joe Ryan, yeah, the Reds have been playing well. Did I miss the Did I miss the Reds score? Yeah, Reds shut out the Pirates four nothing. I was on the Reds today. Yeah, the Reds. You know that's a lot, a lot of times baseball. It's just at the end of the day, things tend to even out a little bit. So, you know, the Reds weren't going to lose 160 games. You know what I mean? I don't know if I have a winning record by the end of the season, but, but you know, definitely better than their start. 
Oh, uh, you typed in Cinque Pubelle in Google Translate and said it was Italian. So uh, my, my mistake. Not, not, did not, don't know my languages. There's seven out of 50 Shohei Otani. Seven out of 50. I think that's Chet tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. With Otani. Two colored dual relics having a nice season. So what, what, what does it mean, Gilo? It's a romance language, close enough. Has to have something to do with five, right? Means the five most beautiful. I got it. All right. That's cool. Maybe we'll run into one of those. Chris saying Red's been winning since Votto's been out of the lineup. Yeah. He has been out. He, had, he wasn't really helping them anyway. I think he was off to a real slow start for him. I think the, the Miami Heat close it out? Yeah, it looks like they close it out. So I know it's a baseball break, but quick basketball talk. What's the postmortem for for the uh, What's the postmortem for the for the Sixers? What do they got to do? Joel Embiid had an uncharacteristically bad game. I knew he's been banged up a little bit. No, he had a he had a pretty solid game. He had 20 points, 12 rebounds, a couple assists. They needed a little more from James Harden, maybe to score. 11 points for James Harden, even though he had four rebounds, nine assists. Tyrese Maxey, 20 points, a few rebounds, four assists, but a minus 24 on the plus minus. That doesn't help. Some will argue that uh, that maybe Doc Rivers just can't get some teams over the hump. Maybe per perhaps coaching is an issue. I don't know. It seems like they got a pretty good team on paper, though. All right. We got Bo Bichette, two-color dual relic. Blue Jays, Justin. Yes, Rex, what's up? Earlier this week, I asked you what grocery store employee pet peeves are. Right, yeah, what are, what are some of the things that... Biggest ones when parents let their kids run around unsupervised. Well, that's probably, that probably goes for any business. There's an artist proof Paul Goldschmidt. I, th I think I think I would I would wager almost any business unless you're a some sort of daycare fun center or something like that. Now, I was thinking more like what something more specific to the grocery store industry. And we got DK Signatures, Jackson Coar. Royals, that's going to go to Patrick. All right, next box. 
Mike Tower says it's all numbers. They're saying become the 77ers. Perhaps you could try to try to try to relate it to hey, you know, the, the pivotal year. Everyone says 1776 it was actually 1777 in Philadelphia. That's when the most work was being done. Only documents were signed in 1776. The real work happened in 77. I suppose they can do that. I guess they wouldn't be called the 77, or so would they be called the 77ers, or would they just be called the 77s? Yeah, maybe 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 a, a rebranding. Mike Towers thinking. All right. Next box. Good luck. Got it. portrait materials, Javier Baez. Tigers edition here, that'll be going to Kevin. A little top loader dust in there. We got a Art of Hitting. Let's play two. Ernie Banks, 62 out of 99. It's for Sean K and the Cubs. There's Joe P. One team knocked out tonight. Yeah, another team might go down too. What other basketball teams were bad for a long time and then became better? Championship level? And a lot of teams. Yeah, the Warriors are bad for a long time. Or right, I guess for a long time? I feel like every team has has stretches, has long stretches of 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 bad times, and they're able to work their way back up to some better times. Yeah, Warriors were bad for a while. Some good drafting, you know, has helped them out. There's Ronzi Contreras. That's for Pittsburgh. That's going to be for Patrick and the Pirates. Does LeBron want to take his skills to Philly? Well, LeBron's under contract for another year, so he's not a free agent. But after that, maybe? I don't know. Gilo wants him to rebrand to just the Philadelphia basketball team. Do I remember really the when they're releasing the NFL schedule wasn't some big stupid event and you got notifications for every five minutes. That's on you for having notifications on. Yeah, I mean, they gotta, they gotta make, I mean, it's, it's a zillion dollar industry, right? And they wanna, they wanna make the NFL, you know, a year round sort of topic of conversation. Super Bowl leads to the draft. Lead, Super Bowl leads to maybe a free agent window leading to the draft, leading to the schedule notification. I mean, what's happening next? I'm sure there's something next month. Mini camp. Mini camp. Oh, the rookie premiere is happening. 
Mike Tower says, sadly, I remember when releasing the Saturday morning cartoon schedule was a big thing. All right, here's the next box. Good luck. I was hoping I'd find some, maybe a numbered Wander Franco for Jake and the Rays, but here's Jose Ramirez, dual relic. Cleveland, this is for you. It's for Rick T. They need to shorten the uh, NFL offseason. I don't know if I don't know if players want that. It's Hans Kraus, fifty-five out of ninety-nine, artist proof for Philadelphia. That'll be for Patrick. Sandy into the windup. So it was done in this thing called TV Guide. According to Mike Tower, I mean, if you're to, if you were to uh, to believe that sort of nonsense, next thing you know, you're gonna tell me it was in like some sort of paper-bound book. And we got a Juan Yepes, Yepes. 29 out of 75 for the Cardinals. St. Louis, Jake with St. Louis. Gilo remembers a TV Guide channel? TV Guide channel even. Next box. Second to last box. Maybe we'll find a maybe an out of five or under. Maybe a little train whistle hit would be would be nice here in random team one. Penultimate box. Oh, the hit is right there. And that's going to be Videl Bruhan. Dual relic for the Rays. That'll be for uh, Jake and the Tampa Bay Rays. frame I think, they're, I think those frame I, well I have to look at the checklist but I'm pretty sure that frame you can see different maybe a black frame might be available as a one of one or something like that hey that's a nice one dual relic and autograph Reed Detmers throwing the first no hitter of the year for the Angels tried to trade couldn't trade Mojo Chet with that one Nice. 
All right, final box coming up. right there. It could mean a lower number. All right, final box. Good luck, gang. Thank you very much. And we've got a Trevor Bauer. Disappointing. Uh, that'll be for Andy and the Dodgers. We got a Artist Proof, Tyler McGill, 32 out of 99. Coming Mets pitcher. And we've got uh, Rodolfo Castro, 9 out of 25. Some nice color in the pad, some good penmanship there from Rodolfo. It's a nice one for Pittsburgh, Patrick and the Pirates. And I think that might be that, ladies and gentlemen. Riley Adams is the last card here. There you go, gang. Thanks very much, everybody. Do a quick little recap here. So that was Jake Berger leading things off. That was six spots, random team break number one. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.